Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and I'm pretty excited because uh, my boss at my job, my 24-7 job, um, actually said, hey, we needed to upgrade a couple of our laptops, and it's our Dell Latitude E6410 laptops. We actually had three. So the plan was to upgrade them with uh, a solid state drive, which we actually purchased uh, SanDisk Ultra 2 solid state drive 120 gigs, and we're also going to be upgrading memory. So let's take a look at how it looks. Okay, so let's open up the box and see what we have inside this little box. Now, uh, we purchased three of these already, and one of them I already installed into uh, uh, e6410 uh, e laptop and it works amazing and so this is the second one that I'm gonna be installing uh, pretty soon for you guys and what comes in the box real simple you got the solid-state drive Sandis Ultra 2 uh, you got a nice little little card right here showing you where to go and download the dashboard which uh, hopefully uh, I will be installing this so check that out that's pretty cool you got yourself a nice little installation guide and this little guy right here is increases the height of the solid state drive so you can insert it uh, comfortably inside this slot. Uh, sometimes you probably don't need it because the size of it will fit nicely. Uh, but for the E6410s, this little guy works great because uh, if you don't use it, it's going to be real loose and it's going to jiggle around the slot. So uh, let's actually see how we install it on the E6410. Okay, before I show you guys the installation part of the SanDisk Solid State Drive, right, let's go over some of the specs and why did I purchase this particular hard drive. Now, capacity size is 120 gigs. The read speed is about 550 millibytes per second. The write speed is only 500 megabytes per second, which is pretty cool. Uh, the interface uh, is actually SATA Revision 3.0, which is 6 gigabytes per second. Now, the MTBF is, uh, which actually stands for Mean Time Between Failures, and uh, is around 1.75 million hours, which is pretty cool. It's, it's actually the measurement of how reliable a hardware product or component is. The dimensions is only 2.75 by 3.96, and the thickness is only 0 0.28 inches. Now, the retail price of this is only $69.54, which was right there in the budget. With that said, let's get to it. All right, guys, so I have my trusty little Phillips screwdriver, uh, the small edition one. I also have a nice little magnet so I could uh, grab those little small screws because you don't want to lose your screws. And I have the Dell Latitude E6410 laptop, which is going to be upgraded. Now, depending on what laptop you're using, most likely uh, on this Dell, there's a slot right here that uh, all you have to do is just remove the two screws. So there's one screw here, and there's another one over here, which is missing, which is not a good thing. And once you do that, you just pop it out, and there you go. This holds your hard drive. How simple is that? Uh, so we're going to actually take the screw over here, and on this little mechanism right here, there's only one screw, so we need to take that screw out. Make sure you guys don't lose the screw. And for me, I have a little, little magnet to grab all the screws. Awesome. And you're going to easily take it off. Now, when you take it off, make sure you don't pull it because you do have a little stick uh, mechanism right here. And if that comes off, it's going to be extremely loose. So let's take the hard drive, or the solid state hard drive, and we're going to just put this part first inside the end, right here in this little hole. And the other end will have the screw. So let's take one of the screws. Put it in here. Oh, put that screw in here. Get in there. There you go. And awesome. Now, again, when I first did it on the first machine, it's a little loose. So when you put it inside, you gotta make sure that everything is inside. So it looks like it didn't really go inside the hole. The first one, it's not that's not a good thing. So let's unscrew this again. And make sure, make sure you don't lose the screws. And there you 
go. Make sure this little guy is in. It doesn't look like it doesn't want to go in. Come on, get in. It has to go in. There we go. We gotta put a little force into it for the other end to go in. Because it won't slide. Let's go do that again. Let's uh, screw. Let's put the screw in. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. So now, if you put the solid state drive inside the E6410, it's a little loose. It's extremely loose. It shouldn't be this loose. So this is when you use your nice little uh, mechanism bridge right here, and you just peel it off. Again, make sure you don't put it at the back. If you see the labels with the uh, barcode, it doesn't go there. It goes right on top where the logo of the sand disk is at. So we're going to peel this stuff off. That's so. Peel all four corners. That's two. And three. And then four. And then what you want to do is you're going to take the mechanism and you're just going to push it all the way to the back as so, like this. And then just put some force. And that's it. So it's a little thick, just the same thickness as the original one. So that means it's going to be nice and fitted with no problem. And we're going to insert it. And I normally like to just push some pressure when I insert it. So just make sure it's right there. Because uh, when I went online to, make, to see if the 6410 was able to upgrade to a solid state drive, a lot of people were complaining that the solid state drive were, wasn't connecting to the... The connector inside the machine it was too loose and all that stuff so just make sure that i gotta find an additional screw for that and uh, that's how you install the the sandis ultra 2 uh solid state drive on an e6410 and that's it guys that's how we install a solid state drive on a dell latitude e6410 really simple really cheap to do an upgrade i think my final goal for the three e6410 laptops that i had in the office is to upgrade the memory to the max which is only eight gigs of memory which we actually purchased the sticks for that and upgrade it to 120 gigabytes of solid state drive because these are laptop loaners um, one of the things that I have to tell you guys before I let you go is make sure that you upgrade your BIOS to the latest version, okay? Uh, when I did the first uh, test with one of the E6410s, it gave me a lot of problems because the BIOS was not up to par, so I actually had to go and upgrade it to the latest 2014 BIOS. So make sure you upgrade your BIOS, then you insert your solid state drive, then you do the installation and um, and do the memory and all that good stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video of how to install the SanDisk uh, Ultra 2 Solid State Drive 120 gigs. It's hands-on experience, which is pretty cool hands-on, right? Uh, if you have any comments or concerns, leave it at the bottom of the video, at the comment section. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.